And today we're going to talk about Eslin when we come back. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew. I'm Julie. And together we're 324 Weekly TV, your source for news, reviews, and tips you can use about mindfulness and meditation. Today we're talking about Eslin Institute in Big Sur, California, and Julie went. So I'm going to ask her a few questions about her experience. We thought that that might be something you guys would be interested in knowing. So Julie, what do you understand Eslin to be? Well, Esalen is uh, one of the most beautiful places I've been in the world. It's a retreat center and it's on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. They have workshops and opportunities for people to work and study. It's, it's an incredible place. Cool. So <laughs> why, why did you go there? Um, I was having a really hard time. I was in a difficult job and I was working to help uh, communities heal and I realized that I really needed to find some stillness and healing in myself in order to really be effective for other people and so I went and kind of on a whim and mm -hmm. I fell in love with it. Uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful time in my life. Yeah. So how, how was it that Eslin changed your life? Esalen completely changed my life. Uh, so I went there and discovered I was an artist. I was an artist, I was a dancer, I was a singer. I, I had no idea, I was an educator. And I had the incredible opportunity to work there in their garden and like to study and to work uh, in their school with young kids. So young kids are spectacular teachers. <laughs> um, so really basically the kids from one to six taught me pretty much everything there is to know about being human. And so they're the teachers, they're the ones I hold in my heart. And so I walked out of Esalen with them and the training and the experience of working with so many people who are now household names uh, in terms of teaching and uh, where and we're what at. What are some of those names of the people you came uh, Well, Gestalt, people maybe not know that name, but Fritz Perls was one of the founding uh, people at Esalen. Gregory Bateson, Ida Rolf, Rolfing Technique. Uh, there's so many different people who have influenced really the culture because they started in the 60s and the 70s when nobody was doing this stuff and now these ideas have spread all over the world and so have all the teachers from Esalen they've gone everywhere everybody who who went to Esalen whether they went they, they went to learn something about themselves it's it's an it's a institute that's about exploring human potential you can go for a weekend you can go for two days you can go for five days you can go for three weeks you can be uh, an intern, you can get a scholarship for a month, for two months, for three months, and if you're super lucky, you get on the staff, which is very small, but, uh, and you can stay there for a year or two. So there's a lot of different ways to be at Esalen, and if you're worried about workshops, you don't have to take one, you can just rent a space uh, and just be there and enjoy the hot tubs and the swimming pool and the homemade food and the organic food. And that. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So is it a, a spiritual retreat? Like how would you define it from a No. It was just it was designed as a as an institute for human potential and growth. So it's about exploration. It's about asking questions and I think there was some intentionality about not making it a spiritual center. Yeah. So it's not like a Buddhist retreat center or any other kind of retreat center like that. So Julie, the last question is, what advice would you give someone uh, who was thinking about attending Esalen for the first time? Well, uh, the first thing to do is figure out what you want to do. So really go online and look at the workshops and see, you know, do you want to take a workshop? Do you want to take a couple? Uh, if not, you just want to get your feet wet a little bit, then uh, see about staying there as a guest. You really want to find your way to, to be there. Esalen has been designed for you to go and have your experience and you're supported in that experience, you're independent in that experience. The, there's workshop times, but you have a lot of breaks in between and there's always time to just walk or <laughs> get a massage. Oh. 
highly recommend getting a massage if you can. If you like massages, they're one of the best in the world. So Julie, I, I thought you mentioned that you ran into somebody famous when you were in uh, Esalen. Do you remember who that was? Yeah, actually, there's a couple of famous people that we met at Esalen, but the person that you're talking about is Matt Gronick, and he was, he really left a wonderful impression on me because I was working in the school, um, the gazebo school, which is outdoor. And if you don't know, Matt Gronick is the creator of The, the Simpsons. Simpsons. Yes, and uh, Matt Gronick saw the school, and so there's a little hill that runs up to trees and a tree fort, and and he just ran up the hill as if he was a three-year-old. Like he just, he knew what it was. He knew how spectacular this place was for young kids. And he just, he just ran in like his soul understood it. And you know, we didn't talk, but we were just so touched by his response to the school. It was really, it was really wonderful. It reminded me how to play, to play like a child and to approach life like that. So, you know, children play hard whether they're work children love to work, you know, children play hard when they're working, they play hard at their play. Uh, and it's really a joyous, it's kind of, they, there's a divine play called Lila and it's that kind of play. It's the play that really where two or more people are really engaged in something and it's very alive. And that's what really lives in me since I left Esalen. Nice. Nice. So that's it, guys. Remember that, uh, as always, if you like our content, please subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell, because then you'll know when our next show is. And until next time, I'm Andrew. I'm Julie. And we're 324 Weekly TV. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> that's our show. <laughs> That's a, that's all folks. That's all folks. <laughs>